Okay, so up until now we've been moving at a really slow pace, but today's going to be a bit different because we're finally getting into some real meat of this project, uh, and that's because I've started testing the drone. So I showed most of the assembly in the last video, uh, I just needed to finish up a few things and then it was fully assembled, and then I moved on to building this little control panel. So I bought a load of potentiometers which are just variable resistors that I can feed into an Arduino to give me uh, a variable value and each one of these potentiometers controls a different number in the source code. So I mounted all 10 of these on a breadboard, you can only see a few here because uh, I didn't realise just how many I needed until later on. So three of these knobs just control the initial starting position of the servos because they want to be a perfect 90 degrees so I know that at that position it's not making the fins move left or right at all. So I just use a potentiometer so I can really fine tune the angle that it starts at and make sure that I haven't done anything wrong in the assembly. And the other seven are all to do with how much effect the gyroscope has on the motors. So you can think of that as like each of the seven dials are a different multiplier or coefficient. And I know 7 is a lot of controls for, you know, one thing essentially, but the reason is because there's a lot of different areas in my code uh, where one range of values is mapped onto another range of values, and I just need to make sure that I consider each one. Uh, but in the future I really want to make my code a lot more lightweight and streamlined so that it can operate faster. Um, so I tested all the potentiometers and made sure they were all working okay and they were all working fine, which was good because they were really cheap. So once I'd finished making the control panel, I moved on to this umbilical cord which just controls the drone from the Arduino which for the time being is on my desk. Uh, I'm planning to use a smaller Arduino that can actually be inside the drone and it can all be on its own but for now, for testing purposes, I need to have this big horrible cord uh, and it just allows me to test code faster and makes the whole process easier. Uh, it didn't come with protection on the uh, little sockets so I had to shrink some tubing onto that. So at this stage everything was pretty much wired up and ready to go and then you're gonna see in this next shot I just give a little demonstration of how the tilt of the gyroscope controls the fins. And then after that I've begun testing. So the first test that I needed to do was just to make sure that the motor was actually strong enough to lift itself up, uh, and as you can see that was all fine, uh, it was capable of lifting itself and the battery even when it was only on about half power so there was no problem there at all. Um, and then I went straight on to seeing if it could hover which was probably a mistake and I'll explain why later, uh, but yeah the next test was I wanted to see if it could hover with the code that I already had. And then I mounted the gyroscope on top of the drone in preparation for the first test. And here just briefly I show how the fins move depending on the orientation of the drone. Uh, you can see the, how they tilt from left to right depending on how the drone moves. And then you'll see as I spin it you see the, the Z-axis control which is meant to counteract the angular momentum of the propeller spinning round uh, to make sure that it stays still and doesn't spin. And then it was finally time for the first test. So after that disappointment I decided to take a few steps back and I started by testing the X and Y control uh, which is just as it moves through the air, as you can see my arm doing it there, um, it just stabilises it and stops it from tipping over and it didn't feel quite as good as I would like it to feel but it felt like it was good enough for a start uh, and it shouldn't stop it from being able to work you know in a room without any wind and then I started to test the thing which I should have tested before anything else before I even designed the drone which was the Z control uh, which is the, the spin is that actually capable of stopping of counteracting the angular momentum from the propeller and it turned out that no matter what angle I had the spin set to couldn't counteract that momentum. If the fins were a different shape I imagine that it would be able to do this but since I want everything to be controlled from uh, these four fins 
Uh, I can't really change the design of them otherwise I would have to introduce more fins. So I feel like my options at this stage are either I can try and redesign the fins and have separate fins for the X and Y control and the Z control, uh, which I don't feel like would be a very good compromise. Uh, or the other alternative is I mount another motor on there, uh, maybe to the top, uh, but a motor that spins in the opposite direction and can actually counteract the angular momentum that way with maybe a little disc that doesn't affect the lift, but its moment of inertia would be able to counteract uh, that of the propeller. But I've been gaining a few subscribers lately, so uh, if there's anyone watching this who has any good ideas, then please just put them in the comments below. Uh, that'd be really nice. Uh, I feel like I will get this working pretty soon. I feel like I've done most of the hard work already. It just needs maybe a few little tweaks to the design, and I think it should work okay. Uh, from testing it, uh, I really do feel like it had a, a good stable feel, uh, which is more than I could have really expected at this early stage of the building, but yeah I do think this is gonna work out okay so in any case thank you for watching uh, feel free to subscribe and watch some of my other videos